It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine. We are here at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Is the Bacchanal still the best buffet in Las Vegas? Let's find out. A little buffet dinner, $7.99 times two, one fifty nine, ninety eight. dollars Now the star of the Bacchanal Buffet is the meat and the seafood. Look at this meat. They got a beef steamed chip, smoked brisket, prime rib, and tri-tip. They have a whole second station of more meat, more brisket, prime rib, steamed chip, even some slab bacon and honey glazed ham. There's even porchetta. Oh, there's even one more carving yeah. station over here with the oven roasted turkey. Good, how are you? I'd like, I'd like to get some porchetta, yeah, please. porchetta and a truffle roasted chicken. Yes, please. Let's see. Let's try, let's try the foie gras cognac. Thank you. Ooh. Wow. Cool. Thank you. Can I get some turkey breast? Thank you. Yeah. Want any sauce? Great. Uh, yeah, the au jus would be perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, maybe, can I get the apple cranberry chutney as well? Thank you. Oh, that looks so Thank good. Thank you. There's this label, vegan selections. Right. Yeah, oh, you're right. It says actually says vegan right here. So they actually do have some pretty good looking food for vegans. Fried Brussels sprouts, cauliflower and broccolini, mm -hmm. and some Vadu Van roasted carrots. Right between the two meat stations. Yeah, right between the two meat sections. There's also <laughs> some salads here, a smoked fish potato salad, iceberg wedge salad, and butter, butternut squash and quinoa salad. That looks nice. That sounds good. I see chicken and waffles, wood grilled lamb T-bone. I'm gonna get some of the lamb. All right. All right. And roasted bone marrow. I'll also get the roasted bone marrow since I'm right Great. here. Well, I gotta try some of this. Hi. Could I try the brisket and the steamed chip and the prime rib and the tri tip? <laughs> Basically everything. Yes, please. One of each, please. Thank you. This is the prime rib right here. Thank you. And the grilled tri tip. Nice big piece. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. It's really convenient that there are two carving stations with exact same offerings. That's right. So the line this one has ham and oh, bacon ham. as well. Oh, oh, it has ham. Okay. We also have a white bean cassoulet with it says lamb sausage in it. Oh, okay. Crispy chicken wings. The truffled mashed potatoes look more like peas. Yeah, it says truffled <laughs> mashed potatoes up here, lemon, but right. these, I think, down here are the truffled mashed potatoes. Right. Well, I think it's the eat your greens. They're just, they're switched oh, yeah. right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly out of order on the signs, but the food all looks amazing. Oh, that was very seasonal, a butternut squash soup. Yes. The Bacchanal sliders are missing right now, but hopefully they'll be making an appearance shortly. And these are barbecue train wreck fries. Oh, we barely turned around, and here are the Bacchanal sliders. Wood grilled beef with American cheese and onion. All right, now we're gonna get in line for this seafood. Mm -hmm. Hi. Go ahead. Hello, how are you? Hi, well, how are you? Hi. Can you get some crab legs? All right, great. perfect, thank you. Thank you. Look thank at you that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely want to try this. Yeah, but, kimchi uh, barbecue oysters. With kimchi butter and a sprinkle of furikake. Yeah, Harissa grilled octopus. And this looks like a little bit different preparation than before. Yeah, they've had octopus. We've had octopus here yeah. before. Yeah, okay. Shrimp and grits. Oh, look, it's a spicy seafood boil. Yeah, the spicy seafood boil. Crawfish, Jonah crab, prawns, corn, potatoes, and Cajun butter. And there's plenty of butter here mm -hmm. to be had. There's even a butter dispensers right here. You need more. This is the hot seafood. And right around the corner mm -hmm. here is the cold seafood on ice. All right. These are the Penco mussels. 
with white wine, garlic, and herbs. These are Jonah crab claws. And these are Cortez clams. The lemon vinaigrette and escalette pepper. I've wanted to get some Dungeness crab for sure. Yes, this is the Alaskan Dungeness crab. You can put it here just on top of my steam. Yeah. Two legs there. They got sweet shrimp cocktail. You want to, could you put a few of those on my plate for of me? Course. Of course. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And these are chilled crab legs. Mm -hmm. so you have just, just like or these. Crab. Right. But or they're chilled. chilled. <laughs> and these are lobster claws. Maybe we should get a couple of these. I think that sounds like a great idea. I'm going to get one for you. Thank you. I'll get one for me. Yes. <laughs> a seafood tower. This yeah. is my seafood tower. And these are whelks, also known as sea snails. And these are Cajun poached prawns, which I love. If you wouldn't mind putting a few on my plate. Of course. Thank you. Two from these are my favorite seafood here at the Bacchanal Buffet. Ooh, the Cajun poached prawns. Thank you. Great, you're welcome. And they've got Cajun remoulade, a mignonette, California lemons, atomic horseradish, and cocktail sauce. All right, on my first plate of meat, I got the tri-tip, I got the prime rib, I got the steamship, and some brisket, plus that turkey and gravy <laughs> and chutney. And you got us some sauces. Why don't you tell us about these sauces? Yeah, so the sauces are right by the carving stations. I have two of each for us. I have some creamy horseradish. This is au jus, peppercorn, and to the right is barbecue sauce. So I have the same meats as Derek, the same four meats, but I have some additional ones too. Right here I have some porchetta. That was the first meat I got, and that is a foie gras cognac sauce on top. This is the lamb, the wood-grilled lamb. And next to that, some roasted bone marrow. And you got a lot of seafood. I have a lot of seafood here. I've got the octopus with the harissa, and this was the lobster claw. I have some Dungeness crab legs here. I have the steamed crab legs underneath that. And I have the kimchi barbecue oyster. I've got to start with these prawns. These, oh, look, came off. The head came off pretty easy. Yeah, it Let me did. Take these legs off. Oh, They're oh. very big prawns. Oh, oh, there we go. So that's kind of like the the part of the body you maybe don't want to eat, but right. this is the part you do want to eat, where all the legs are hanging off. These are very big prawns. Very big prawns. There we go. Now that is a big piece of prawn meat. Let's put it in the cocktail sauce. I wonder how the Cajun poached prawn would taste with the Cajun remoulade. Oh yeah, the Cajun remoulade. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. Well, now I'm going to have to peel another one. Right. These are definitely almost falling apart. So not, not hard to peel, just very messy. Oh, I got like some shrimp guts on my finger. OK, well, let me, uh, let me wipe that off. All right, all right, let me, these aren't as easy to peel as I, as I was saying. No, they but, take a, a bit of work. It's a bit of work, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. All right. I bet they're very good. There we the go. Cajun remoulade. I mean, that is still a giant piece of mm -hmm. prawn right there. Now let's try with the Cajun remoulade. Mmm, that's good. It's a little creamy. It's creamy and a little spicy, but it's really creamy. I like that. Oh, good. I'm going to try the grilled octopus first. This is an octopus with harissa. And, oh, the clarified butter is not for this. I bought it for the crab legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's try this out here. It's like a little baby octopus. It's very tender, and the harissa base is spicy. It has a nice kick. The octopus is very neutral. So the harissa is nice with those. Of course, I have some potatoes to go with that as well. But let's move on to the kimchi barbecue oyster. It was a small oyster, ultimately. Let's see what I can get out of this. Oh, 
know, there was a, I picked a pretty small oyster, but it's very flavorful. That's good. I like the heat from the kimchi. It works well with that oyster. I don't think I've ever paired those two things together before. Yeah. I like that. Okay. And I see you have a lot of crab legs. I have a lot of crab legs. Okay. This is the lobster oh, claw. lobster claw too. Yeah, it's maybe we should try that one. Okay. But it comes, you see the split right here. So you can just lift it up. You should be able to just lift this up. Okay. It's cut so that you could, oh, let's take out this first. <clears throat> Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. That is good. I can just pull this out like that. See the claw meat right here. I'll have it with the clarified butter, of course. Again, this was in the cold seafood section yeah. of that bar. It was meaty. It was yeah. a meaty claw. I'm glad that they. I'm glad that they cut it like this for easy to eat, easier to eat. Yeah, this shellfish usually isn't easy to eat at all. Yeah, and oh, you know what? I did like that when we got to our table, oh, yeah. these were automatically on the table. Oftentimes you have to ask your server for this if you want seafood, but this is already here so you can get started and use these right away if you need them. It's not pre-split or anything. Okay, right. put that there, we'll give it a little wiggle. Hey. hey. Success. Yeah. I just got to have it with clarified butter. Okay. Hmm. The crab tastes great. It tastes very fresh. All right, I gotta try this meat. I think I'm gonna start with the brisket. This looks the best to me. It looks so tender. He cut you a very large piece. Yeah. Too. That is super tender, just falls apart in my mouth. Very meaty tasting, has a little bit of a char flavor and a little bit of fattiness. That's good brisket. I think that's what you want in a brisket. It's exactly what you want in a brisket. Mm -hmm. Now let's try, try this, next? let's try the steamship next because the steamship, it's a giant piece of meat. But let's try this tiny little bite. <laughs> That's okay, not as tender, still tender, but not as tender as the brisket. Look at this prime rib down here. You know if this is good, it's gonna be tender. So mm -hmm. let's, I think we need to add a little au jus on okay. this as we well. We have a variety here. Mm -hmm. There's the au jus, perfect. And maybe even a little bit of this horseradish. It's the creamy horseradish. Right there, the prime rib. That is tender, but it's still very meaty. And definitely with the au jus and the horseradish gives that little extra kick. That's good prime rib. All right, we have one more beef item right. here, and that is the tri-tip. Now it's been sitting here a couple minutes, looks a little a little dry, mm -hmm. but. We have various sauces. Maybe this one, this mm -hmm. uh, the barbecue. barbecue sauce, especially there's a lot of char right here mm -hmm. on the outside. So this might be just the way to eat it. No, that's, that's, that's too, too dry. Ooh, okay. Too tough. Okay. But it's a buffet, so there's always more to eat. All right, let's try this turkey. We've got a nice thick piece of it here and some okay. chutney. Mm -hmm. It was like apple cranberry chutney, I believe. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm, that chutney is quite sweet. But it definitely tastes like fall, like the holidays, like the season. That's good. Yeah, and, the, and, the, and the turkey is very tender. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, now we have a lot to check out down here at this end of the buffet. This is the Asian food. And they've got stir-fry vegetables. 
bang bang shrimp, Thai beef, salt and pepper hamachi collar, General Tso's chicken, some smoked chashu pork ribs, and fried rice. They even have carved roast duck. Ginger and garlic clams. Vegetable spring rolls, sesame rice balls, crab rangoon, and shiitake pot stickers. And there's barbecue pork buns right here. Shrimp har gao. And shumai. There's some Korean food right here, japche, kalbi short ribs, assorted banchan, and Korean chicken with gochujang sauce, and kimchi fried rice. And the Japanese food section starts with a giant pot of steamed rice. <laughs> Look at that, that's a lot of rice. Grilled shishito peppers, spicy edamame, and chilled edamame. And the sushi. Yeah. Lots of soy sauce packets and ginger. This is the citrus taco poke. And taco means octopus in Japanese, so it's not a taco. T-A-K-O. Yes. Ahi tuna poke with a seaweed salad. And this is lomi salmon poke and a forbidden rice bowl. Ooh, that's, that's nice. That's black. It's vegan. Rice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It says vegan with black rice, kale, and butternut squash. Oh. And they got the sushi rolls. This is the bacchanal roll. It's tempura shrimp, cucumber, eel, yuzu, and avocado kewpie. And the volcano roll, spicy crab, jalapeno, cucumber, eel sauce, and yum yum sauce. And they got nigiri sushi, yellowtail, ahi tuna, even a salmon box sushi, and a vegan California roll. There's something else for the vegans. Oh, this is all the Filipino stuff. They have lumpia. Look at that. Yeah, this is the Filipino food. Looks like they have grilled pork skewers, mm -hmm. lumpia. Mm -hmm. You want to get some of that? Yeah. That's a Grilled pork skewer. Sometimes you see it with. Oh, I'll just grab these two here. Sometimes you see the chicken thighs. This is the pork. The pork lumpia. It's a described here as a Filipino spring roll stuffed with pork. Let's grab two. Plate. You need this salsa one for your lumpia. This is like a dipping sauce. Oh, okay. And this is the sauce for the lechon. Yes. This is a. Ensalada and tamatis zapatis, like a fish sauce. Patis is like a fish sauce. Okay. And has other things in it too, like cilantro, red onion. But you can see it's already cut up here. You've got a giant pig head over there. Yeah. And what I like is that you can get some pieces of pork. I get one here. You also can get some skin, some crispy skin, which is my favorite part. You get one more piece here. You get one more. Oops, okay, I got a big piece of skin. Okay. Oops. You need the brown sauce and the chone dipping sauce for this as well. Great. And they even have an Asian soup station right here. Black garlic ramen, tonkatsu ramen, Vietnamese pho, tom ka, egg flour soup, Filipino congee, and dan dan noodles. You can get made to order right here. And then they have toppings for some of your soups, like the pork floss, the century egg, Thai basil, and the salads, ancient grain salad, tri-color salad, roasted beet salad. Yeah. That was a green goddess Cleopatra. salad. That was very good. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a green goddess, but it's a mm -hmm. Cleopatra salad, they call it. Mm -hmm. We are at Caesar's Palace. Fitting. Here they got Bloody Mary deviled eggs right there. They got burrata and sweet potato crostini. And this is a caviar vol-au-vent. 
Over smoked salmon mousse in a puff pastry cup. And this is butter, <laughs> chive butter. I'm gonna try one of these volavants. Look at that. So this is supposed to be like uh, caviar. Caviar over smoked salmon mousse in a puff pastry. There's lots of bread and lots of deli meats. Charcuterie, if that's what you want to call it. They got the cheese board. This actually does look pretty good if you're into cheese. There's a lot to choose from. They got little fixins here for uh, Middle Eastern food. The pickled turnips, olives. Oh, look at this. These are little plates already made with an assortment of these items. It's all the Meze Trio here. It says baba ganoush, beet hummus, tabbouleh, and a pita. Well, that's real pretty. And this is the Italian section right here. The prese salad, antipasto salad, all these pizzas, jaconfi and hoisin pizza, the meat lover's pizza, that's pepperoni, bacon, ham, and sausage, brie and apple pizza, smoked salmon pizza, the margarita pizza, grandma's meatballs, and marinara sauce and garlic bread. And right here is where they're making those pizzas in that that oven back there. See, you can see them assembling the pizza right there. And this is where they're also make some pasta or risotto to order. You can build your own pasta if you'd like, or just order one of the five chef's favorites. You have a seafood linguine, penne alla vodka, farfalle sausage, which is spicy. It has the Calabrian chilies right, in it. Right. Vegan, you have a vegan dish, the fusilli bolognese, and the short rib risotto. But what's nice though, just a reminder, you can order a half order of Oh, the that's pasta right, we've done that before. Because there is a lot to eat here. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> and you want to make sure you have room for everything. I can see them making the pasta to order right there over an open flame. Still more down here. This is the petite pork shank. Arancini, a sausage and pepper stuffed crispy rice ball, some Italian wedding soup, crispy fried panisse, that's fontina cheese, ratatouille vegetables, slow roasted tomato sauce, pan seared salmon, and a chicken pita. All right, so unlike the big plates of meat and seafood that we got, now I'm having a little bit of an interlude with these tiny, tiny plates. This is a tiny, tiny puff pastry with some tiny, tiny caviar on it. <laughs> and there's some um, salmon, mousse. salmon mousse inside. That's good. It's like having a seafood croissant. <laughs> in one bite. One bite. Like in a mousse booth. And yeah, next I want to try this deviled egg and then the crostini. The Bloody Mary deviled egg. That's good. It's like a it's like a deviled egg with pickles on it, like olives and pickles and <laughs> briny. That, it's a briny deviled egg. Is it good? It's good. And we have a crostini with some burrata cheese and sweet potato. Mm. That looks great. This is great. Mm. It's essentially the same crostini, but the whipped burrata like they had in the summer, but with cherries. All right, they had cherries on this in the summer, and now it's sweet potato. It's still nice and sweet and creamy and crispy. This has it all. 
All right, you have a short rib risotto that you got made to order at the pasta station. I did, and I got a half order, again, because there's so much here to eat at the Bacchanal Buffet. You want to make sure you want to try a little bit of everything. Yeah. And this has risotto, shredded beef short rib, mushrooms, and two cheeses, mascarpone, parmesan, and I saw him put in a knob of butter. <laughs> so it's going to be rich. I expect this to be rich. That is so comforting. Wow. That the ribs are just very tender. I think it's the mascarpone that gives it a certain like richness, of course. And then the parmesan gives it like like saltiness too. Oh, and also the knob of butter helps. <laughs> yeah, couldn't yeah. hurt. All right, it's time to try the Chinese food. The Bacchanal Buffet has always had some of the best Chinese food of any Las Vegas buffet. Let's see if that is still true. Let's try this General Sal's chicken here. actually really good. Sweet, crunchy. Sweet and crunchy. <laughs> mm. Let's try the fried rice. Mm. Oh. That is so good. It has that sweet Chinese sausage in it. Really oh, like, that. like that. I like that sweet mm. pork sausage. Oh. The bang bang shrimp. Mm -hmm. mm. Sweet and crunchy, but also has like that mayonnaise flavor, like a shrimp and walnuts flavor. Okay. That's good. Mm. There's some Thai beef. Everything's good. Oh, and this is that like crispy fish. Right, it was the salt and pepper hamachi kalb. Mm, that's it. Yeah, that's good too. It's very, it's, it's like salt and pepper fish. And finally, let's try this Chinese pork rib. Tastes like chashu pork. Whew. Okay. What's great about the Bacchanal Buffet is that they have a variety of Filipino foods here, which you don't see too often in buffets. And I've got to try these skewers here. These are big grilled pork. Oftentimes when you see Filipino skewers, they could be chicken thighs or pork. Here, here we just have pork and they're marinated. Let's try with, with no sauces. That marinade is just very sweet. It complements the richness of the pork. Oh, that's nice. There's, let me try the pork lumpia here. It's a Filipino spring roll with shredded pork inside. Let me try it without the salsa one. Mm. 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 Yeah. Very well seasoned inside with the ground pork. There's like carrots, some onion as well. Let's try it with this salsa one here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vinegar, anything with a fried dish or the skewers, you can't go wrong. But now I've got to try it with the lechon. And then let's see if I can get, oh, there's actually kind of a meaty piece right here. Let me get this here. Let me pick this up again. Let's try and try the meat, the sauce. The pork, it's not lechon lechon, it has the Chinese five spice oh, flavor. Okay. It just tastes good. Yeah. It's just not what I expected. I thought it was going to be more of a lechon taste. But you got the crispy skin. Yeah, they let's, do. Let's try it. Let's try the skin alone. I wonder if this has any seasoning. Let's try this. Mm. 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 Crispy pork skin. 
my favorite type of cracker. <laughs> now I have some items from the Asian section as well. These were a clams and a ginger sauce. Let's try these out. They had a really nice looking broth with them, but there wasn't a bowl to try the broth with, so let's just try the clams. Very light, mild, but still like very gingery flavor in the clams. I picked it up from the broth. I would love that in a big bowl with some rice. Yeah. Okay. They got a big thing of rice over there. They have a giant thing of rice there. That's true. true. Now, I'm going to try this. This is the sesame rice ball. This is a, like a dessert. It's sweet. Yeah. It has like a taste inside. Let's try this one out. Mm. 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 You see the red bean paste. Oh, yeah. It's very oily. Yeah. It's like you can see the oil on my hands. It's also very good. Yeah. <laughs> we just know it's very good. Okay. There was also some stir fried vegetables in the Asian section. We have some mushrooms. We've got some baby corn. Let's try this one. Mm. Mm. And you That's got some great. duck there, right? I do, yes. I have some duck here. This is the carved duck breast. I'll see if I can just take a piece off. Oh, wow, this comes right off here. Let me cut a piece. This is a very big piece of duck breast. Yeah. So some pieces, like this is like, it's on the bone. You can feel a big piece of bone right here. Maybe I'll just pick it up with my hand. Yeah. So let me just pick it up with my hand. I'm trying to work around the bone. I'll just pick this up. I can taste that again yeah, Chinese five spice flavor in the duck. It's very like rich. It's very it's very fatty. It's very rich. So if you haven't had duck before, just know that it's very rich on the tongue. Yeah. But this is good. I can taste the seasoning, but I can still taste the meat. Like I said, very rich. Yeah. Very that's like the main characteristic of it. And of course I also have some crispy skin too. Let's try the skin. All right, we gotta get ourselves some of these quesabiria tacos. Yes. Raised yes, beef, crispy <laughs> corn tortillas, Oaxaca cheese, cilantro, and onion. Yes, please. Thank you, little quesadilla cheese. Thank you very much. Yes, perfect. Thank you. All right, and they have more stuff. They yes. even have Sonoran street dogs. I think I gotta try this. Yeah, I've gotta get a devil dog. This is For very sure. LA to me. Yeah. <laughs> And then they also have like churros and shrimp tostadas. I'm gonna try a shrimp tostada. Okay. What is this? This says torta ahogada. Yeah. You gonna try that? Yeah, it's essentially, you can see it's like, it's pork, but it's in a bolillo, bolillo oh. bread. And oh, it's, it's drenched bread. in sauce. I see, that's bread. It's drenched in the sauce. All right. Ooh. Sauced bread, all right. All right, let's try this Sonora Street Dog. Looks like it has jalapenos, salsa, beans. And it's and, wrapped in bacon. And maybe a spicy sauce oh, on there. Yeah. <laughs> Is there bacon in it? Yeah, You're right, it's, it's, wrapped, it's wrapped in, in bacon. It's, it's, the whole thing's wrapped in bacon. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. That's a pretty good hot dog. All those things that I just said taste really good on a hot dog. Now you got these quesabiria tacos, which we have loved here yes. in the past. <laughs> oh, Let's they're see how so they are good. Now. They're so good. And make sure to get the cotilla cheese. Right. When someone asks if you want cheese on something, you say yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. It's piping hot. Okay. It was like right off the plancha. Mm. That meat is just so tender, flavorful, and soft. They have the cheese with it too. It's a quesadilla. It's a bidia. It's a quesadilla taco. Right. Let's try the shrimp tostada. It's got shrimp and refried beans and lettuce and onion. Looks like radish? No yeah, radish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm. It has like some Mexican spice flavors on it too, so yeah, that tastes, it 
is pretty authentic. So you've got a essentially a Mexican sandwich that is drenched in salt. Yes, this is the torta algada. It's a slow cooked pork. Can you see the pork right there? Yeah. And you have the pickled red onions that go with it. All right. And it's drenched and it's in this bolillo bread. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, hold on. Onions are falling off. We need the onions with it. This is very good. This is very good. Mm. The sauce drenches the bread. The bread super soft. The pork is very moist. It's a little salty, but I can't tell if that's the sauce or the pork. It tastes good. It tastes really good. It tastes really good. Of course, the pickled red onions are nice because it kind of just cuts through the richness of the pork. I was wondering if you could get consomme with your quesadilla taco, and it turns out you can. I just asked the server behind the counter if they could give me some consomme, and he got some from a container right behind us nice. at the station. So now it's piping hot consomme to go with my quesadilla tacos. I just have to dunk that in. It just makes it even better. So let's try this right now. Okay. Ooh, this is really hot, by the way. Give it a nice little dunk there. And these are the drinks by the Mexican section. Yes. What do we have here? Okay. This is an ube horchata. It's kind of like a Mexican Filipino combination because right. you have this ube um, purple yam here with the horchata cinnamon. And this is a citrus mango. Wow. You know, ube has that very, it's a little bit of um, a, a coconut adjacent flavor to it, mm -hmm. but it's that mixed with like cinnamon that's like that even the smell of like that cinnamon right before you even taste it mm -hmm. oh that's so good yeah. ube has like vanilla notes to it vanilla which notes really as well yeah so it's like vanilla flavor. a little coconutty mm -hmm. and then cinnamony mm -hmm. that's really great and then this one the agua fresca oh that's so good too if you like mango yes that's gonna be perfect and i do like mango. it's really refreshing it's... oh they're wow. both so good yeah all right, it's dessert time, and they have so many desserts here at the Bacchanal Buffet. Let's take a look. This is actually the no sugar added section, and even these desserts look incredible. No sugar yeah, added great. black forest mousse. And this says, well, I guess that's the end of the no sugar added, but these are <laughs> gluten-free right mm -hmm. here. Gluten-free pumpkin panna cotta, mm -hmm. gluten-free brownie domes, Vegan strawberry cake is a vegan dessert. Vegan passion fruit tapioca. And there is one more sh no sugar added, the no sugar added oh. blueberry cheesecake. And now these are the full sugar desserts <laughs> and the full gluten everything. <laughs> Pineapple upside down cake, chocolate lava cake. These are like so tiny. Oh, look at this cinnamon roll bread pudding. That's a big portion. Did you get one of those for me? <laughs> of course. Those are Yeah, really those good. are big compared oh, to those hot. tiny they're little hot. chocolate lava cakes. Oh, they're hot, cakes. so you know. And egg tarts. I'll try an egg tarts. Okay. Right. Coconut macaroons. And here's some toppings for the ice cream gelato section here. Sorbets. Look at these, these look pretty good. Hi. Hi, how are you? Doing good. So you got mint chocolate chip and Belgian chocolate cappuccino, vanilla, green tea, cookies and cream, and these sorbets, mango, blood Ooh. orange, peach, watermelon, and no sugar <laughs> added wild berry. I, I know, I saw those. Oh, in the back, yeah. you're right, look at that. Creme yes. brulee. Oh, I think I want to try that yeah. one. Can yeah. I try that yeah. one? I'd like to try the pistachio and the creme brulee, please. Together or separately? Separate, please. Thank they you. Have two and one yes, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Please, a little vanilla from the, uh, oh, yeah, that oh. would be good, actually. Thank you. Oh. Yes, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, thank you very Sometimes much. Sometimes I wonder, am I helping? <laughs> you? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Because they also got strawberry cheesecake. Uh, oh, great. Oh, yeah, perfect. Right there. Oh, that's, that's great. very nice. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, that's please. That's the pistachio. Thank right next you. to it, actually, pumpkin gelato. 
Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, there's hot oh, look apple at cider. that. Some hot apple cider. Sure. Got some lemon meringue tarts and green tea Ooh. cheesecake. I definitely want one of those. I like that little thing that's like a, looks like a ladybug. Yeah, it looks like a little ladybug on the Cute. green tea cheesecake. Tiramisu, that's always good. There's an apple mousse. Apple mousse. Regular creme brulees. And a berry cheesecake. I'll try the chocolate apple mousse. Chocolate mousse well. coupe. And this Ooh. looks like a berry shortcake, it says. And some baked mini apple pies. Would you like a berry shortcake? Sure. <laughs> they even have s'mores bars. Ooh. And a, some cupcakes, cookies and cream, and red velvet cake. And this is the crepe station. This is oh, some of the yes. best crepes that you can get here at a buffet in Las Vegas. You just pick your sauce, chocolate, caramel, raspberry, or Nutella, and pick your toppings, mixed berries, bananas, foster, or whipped cream. Here's the apple compote, That's the mixed very berry sauce, and bananas mm. foster sauce. Yes, the apple compote has cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, oh, right. cloves. That's like the seasonal, seasonal flavor. I like that. All right. Which one do you want to get? I think I want to get the apple compote. I've had the mixed berry before. It's excellent. But they also have bananas foster, which is really great, too. Mm -hmm. So hard to choose. Okay. See everybody working hard back here, putting the desserts together. And now we're gonna have a crepe made to order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's working really hard back here at the pastry table. Trying to keep you winning, no problem. Yes, yeah, please. So what would you like? I'd like to have an apple compote crepe. Of course. Now we're gonna be adding anything to it, maybe like caramel or powdered sugar with cream. Yes, to all three. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> please, and thank you. It smells so good while it's cooking, mm -hmm. and it cooks so fast. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thank that is beautiful. Wow. That yeah. does look incredible. Yeah, pretty as a picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. These look great. <laughs> All right, I got my cinnamon roll bread pudding. I got with some vanilla ice cream on, or gelato on it. And I got some creme brulee gelato as well. And a little bit of strawberry shortcake. It's mostly like a strawberry mousse. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. There's like a cinnamon bun under there. That is so caramelly, like that caramel sauce, mm. and so creamy with the ice cream on it, and just so sweet. That was a great addition. Was... I also have a creme brulee and gelato. Mm -hmm. Try that one. Then yeah, actual creme brulee, and then creme brulee gelato. Yeah. Honestly, I can't even barely taste it after that. <laughs> that bread pudding was so intensely caramelly sweet. Okay. Let me try the strawberry shortcake. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh. It's mostly just mousse, but that strawberry mousse is incredible. Okay. Mm. So different from the bread pudding, so different from the gelato, different texture. I love this one. And what did you get? I like that a lot at the yeah. dessert section here. We have an egg tart. We've got the no sugar added black forest cake or mousse I want to try. This is a gluten-free pumpkin panna cotta. This is a mini baked apple pie, creme brulee gelato, pistachio gelato. This was an apple mousse. This was a, I believe it was green tea cheesecake. Let's try this apple mousse. This is a dehydrated apple slice there. And if you look, it almost looks like a pie. You see, like it looks like apple filling down there as well. Yeah. Try to get a little bit of 
all of this in one bite. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Oh, the apple filling, filling is really nice. There's a, a lot of texture to this little tiny pieces of apple. They're not mushy. They're not overly cooked. Mm -hmm. That is nice. They have a really good taste, too. This is really good if you like apple pie. Of course, now I also have this little tiny baked, oh, yeah. described as a mini apple pie. It's so small, I'm just going to bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. Same delicious apple filling. Oh. I wonder if it's the same filling that's from the crepes. The apple compote? Oh, yeah, maybe. Because it tastes very spicy. Lots of really great warm fall flavors in that. This is great. I love the crust. I love a tart crust. That's excellent. I'm going to try this little tiny thing with this cute little ladybug like picture. This is a green tea cheesecake. It's very green. Mm. Oh yeah, I took a while for the green tea flavor to hit. It's very rich. But I didn't get a very strong green tea flavor. Sometimes it can taste like overly sweet, but this one's not overly sweet. Can you eat the ladybug? What is it? it let's see. It looks like it's just... Mm. It's chocolate. Okay. Mm. One of the prettiest desserts I thought I saw was this gluten-free pumpkin panna cotta. Can you see all the pistachios on top as well? Some looks like a pecan there. This looks really good. Mm. Let's get this. Ooh. Now I love a pudding or a panna cotta in this case. Oh, there's even some golden raisins on this as well. Oh, that's like a really good pumpkin pie filling. But I really like the addition of the different seeds and nuts on top. We have pumpkin seeds, pistachios, golden raisins, a oh, pecan that just dropped. And all those different textures really work with this simple cream panna cotta. It gives it a lot more complexity and flavors too. That's, this is really good. It's gluten free. You're not going to miss it. You're going to have so much flavor in this place. Now I have to try the no sugar added black forest mousse. Now there's no cake at all. It just looks like it's a mousse. We see some cherries, we see some chocolate, and a whipped cream. Mm. Interesting. I guess I'm used to black forest tasting more like a darker chocolate. And this was more like milky. So it didn't taste like a black forest, but just very good, just chocolate and cherry. Always a good combination. Mm. Mm. Now finally, let's try an egg tart. It is flaky, look at that flaky layer, look at that crust. The top looks great. Let's so bite into this one too. Mm. Mm. Oh, lovely, just rich, warm, not too cloyingly sweet, egg custard-like filling with that flaky, flaky crust. It's not too sweet, too, so you could eat more than one and not feel like you've got too much sugar because you've got these other things to eat, too. Oh, this is great, and there's still crepes to eat. All right, we got our crepe, and this is my mixed berry crepe with chocolate sauce and whipped cream and powdered sugar. The works. The works. <laughs> These are my favorite crepes in Las Vegas, here at the Bacchanal Buffet. Mm. Try a little of this apple compote crepe with caramel, whipped cream, and powdered sugar. Mm. Mm. That's such a good, such a good filling. The apples are really well cooked, but not overcooked, so they're soft, like an applesauce. Still have some texture and crunch to them seasoning, the season, spices, tastes like fall. It tastes like a pie. A very, very good made to order pie. <laughs>
So the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace, is it still the best buffet in Las Vegas? I'd say absolutely. You know, I think what makes the best buffet experience is being able to find what you like to eat. And here at the Bacchanal, there is so much variety and the food is so good that I think anybody should be able to find what they like. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment, let us know what you think about the Bacchanal. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat when it's all you can't Vegas.